Hi guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I am an endocrinologist and a diabetes specialist. I have a lot of passion to treat diabetes. Again, today we are talking about how to correct your blood sugars when they are high very quickly. Now, of course, you know, I get a lot of calls, you know, sometimes they'll say, oh, you know, my blood sugars were running normal, okay, whatever, and now suddenly I have a 300 blood sugar. Now, most of the time, it is due to a mistake. You may have forgotten your medication, or you may have eaten something that actually has a lot of carbs that you don't realize, or you just decided to in indulge, whatever. That's okay, you're a human being, but it happens. Or sometimes they put you on steroids, you know, whatever it may be, then you suddenly, your blood sugars are off the roof. And of course you panic, you don't know what to do, you try to call the doctor, if the doctor replies to you, uh, but then you don't know what to do. Now, a couple things that I can tell you. Uh, definitely, if your blood sugars are too high, don't panic, unless you're having like nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, uh, rapid breathing. These are the signs that you need to go to hospital for. You don't want to wait for a doctor's call for that. You, you're having these problems like nausea, vomiting, breathing problems. Uh, then you should go to hospital if your blood sugars are more than 300, 400. But uh, if your blood sugars are high but you're not really symptomatic, you're just worried about your blood sugar, a couple things you can do. Now, number one, the easiest way is take a walk. Take a brisk walk that, that allow your muscles to absorb the sugars and it's going to come down. If you go take a sprint, that can actually increase your blood sugars because of the adrenaline response. So you don't want to do an intense exercise. Uh, like you don't want to go crazy and go on the treadmill and start running 10 miles an hour. You don't want to do that. You want to get on the treadmill and just go like maybe four or five miles an hour for like 30 minutes. And then you're going to realize that your blood sugars are coming down nicely. Now, if you cannot do that, or if you're not in a situation to do that, let's say you're in a friend's house or something that you don't want to leave just to take a walk or whatever, um, well, in that case, if you have a, a fast-acting insulin, such as Novolog or Humolog or Apidra, uh, and if you have a sliding scale, definitely go for it. If, you know, if your doctor has given you a sliding scale that says if your blood sugar is that high, take that much insulin, then they apply that. And of course, monitoring your blood sugar a little bit more often, uh, say you take an extra shot of insulin to bring the blood sugar down, then you should check it again in two to three hours to make sure it's coming down. If it is, if it keeps rising and you're giving insulin, that means that you have a problem and you really need to talk to your doctor at that point or if you're getting symptoms. Sometimes checking your ketones and if you have like moderate to large ketones in your urine, that's another bad sign that that you may, you may be too late to correct yourself. But otherwise, using sliding scale can bring your blood sugars down fairly quickly as long as you have that handy. Now, what you should not be doing is taking extra long-acting insulin, such as Lantus, Levimir, Traceba, uh, Tujeo. These are long-acting insulins, or even Novolin and Humulin N. Uh, some people will say, oh, I'll just take more long-acting insulin, but think like this. No long acting insulins are like 18 wheeler trucks. It's like trying to say, oh, well, I have to go from, um, say, Florida to California and I'll go get an 18 wheeler. That's not a great idea, right? So you have a long way to go and you don't want to go with a slow truck. You want to bring the blood sugar down fast. So you have to use a fast acting insulin. You need a Ferrari to go fast. So in this case, you need to use fast-acting insulin such as Novolog, Hemolog. Otherwise, th those long-acting insulins will bring your blood sugar down, but it's going to take forever. Uh, when I say forever, it's like it's going to take 8 to 10 hours. And then those long-acting insulins do not really stop working after 8 or 10 hours. They actually last 24 or more hours. Then you are actually risking yourself to go low later down the road. So do not do that. And also, if your blood sugars are high, uh, sometimes people use glucoside, glyburide, glimabride, glucoside, whatever. Those drugs are not my favorite because when you take them, yeah, it, it boosts your insulin production, but you really don't know how much your insulin you're getting from it. Uh, you can take an extra dose of that medication, but you have to carefully monitor your blood sugar a little bit more often, at least every three to five hours. Um, and then if your blood sugars are going too low, then you need to do something about that, which we have a video about that as well, how to correct blood sugar uh, when they're low correctly.
So I hope that video was helpful. Please subscribe, please give a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video.